me and progressives, we have the same morals, okay. right? We want the same things, but how we go about getting it, very different, okay? okay. I think the F word that rhymes with maggot yes. has too much power. Okay. And I want to devalue its power. Okay. All right, so like- Notice he ain't gonna do this bit with the N word. Well, oh, no, no, no. We might. We might. <laughs> hey, let me tell you what you're about to watch. I got some comic friends meeting me and we're all bringing our most offensive jokes. The ones that divide a crowd, the ones that get boos, not laughs. But we believe there's still some funny in there and we're gonna find it. I'm Andrew Schultz and this is Inside Jokes. You guys ready to start? Yeah. yeah. Let's just start. Dave, what do you got for us? I gotta preface this by saying that I am a radical, pragmatic, progressive. Pragmatic. Yeah, pragmatic. That's, I'm like, that's a lot not, of adjectives. Not, yeah. I'm not that's you know, radical. That's very San Francisco. Yeah, right? yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. actually not. because. Uh, but that's how I know this is going to be really <laughs> racist. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Listen, I think everybody's equal. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be yeah, we, radical uh, person. Let me tell you something. We, very soon we're going to realize we need Alex to sit in. <laughs> Where until you get to mine? This shit is. <laughs> you get like a lot of YouTube comments. Yo, Al, how'd you let them do this shit, son? <laughs> so, I want to come into spaces like me and progressives, we have the same morals. Okay. Right? We want the same things, but how we go about getting it, very different. Okay. Right? right? So, for me, uh, let's talk about slurs. Okay? okay. I think the F word that rhymes with maggot yes. has too much power. Okay. And I want to devalue its power. Okay. All right, so like... Notice it, he ain't gonna do this bit with the N-word. Well, oh, no, no, no. We might. We might. <laughs> I'll, just, I'll try to I'm address not. that. <laughs> you got but it. But go on, go on. Okay, so... I feel like we could change the definition of the F-word. Yes. Right? Into something that robs it of its power. Okay. Mm -hmm. So... What I propose is uh, we ask the LGBTQ community yes. to give that word to people who watch sports so that we can use that word to slander athletes. Okay. All right. I love it. So that it doesn't mean slur against. Do you say the word in the bit? Eventually I do. And He's like, depending right. where I'm performed. <laughs> yeah. Minnesota, absolutely. <laughs> Arkansas, yup. San well, Fran, not so much. Yeah, so here's the thing. I performed in Minnesota, the Bay Area. Like, What's the F word? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just saying. You think it's fuck still. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So in the Bay Area and in Brooklyn, it's even difficult amongst other comedians to get all of it out. Right. Without people get giving upset. me the stink eye. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Because even though like without I'm people acting like some real maggots, <laughs> <laughs> I love when you do that when we just change it for something else. Yeah, yeah. As if we like might as well just say the word if you're going maggot. It's an f word, but it sounds like maggot. We're like yeah, yeah. we're all going yeah. Like you're that. saying faggot. <laughs> <laughs> But that's how, like, that's how powerful I ain't <laughs> You wear blackface. <laughs> I'm like, I'm with beige. <laughs> okay, go on. But, like, that's kind of illustrates just how powerful that word is. We can't even say it to address it to devalue it. Right. We have to, like, skate around it. Right. So that's my whole thing. It's like, I want to rob it of its power. So and you want to start calling athletes the F word? Yes. And but then like, how, how are you going to do it? I don't know. We all just together but then and you gotta agree. be I guess maybe the joke is the joke that like to do it you gotta be not scared to say it but you're scared to say it so you can't start the movement maybe you should get <laughs> hilarious so we gotta start calling the athletes the F word yeah. if we can just figure out the courage to be able to say the F word <laughs> this is that's kind of a funny yeah, last yeah, line yeah. I just wanna I wanna like let people understand like how comedians minds work this has nothing to do with David being a progressive this is Dave going, all right, I can't say the F word. Yeah. How is, can yeah. I find a way well, to say This is how we know, and that, this is how I respect this about you. You value comedy more than you value politic. Is the comedy comedian who's like, I want to say this and make this funny. Well, here's the thing. It's like, uh, I grew up in the 90s when it was okay to say yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then early 2000s, less okay to say it. Yeah. And now, completely not okay to say it. Right. So I'm just trying to figure out how to come full circle. Yeah, I want to be able to say it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, you know, you I don't want to disparage gay people because, you know, they don't, they didn't choose that lifestyle. Yeah. But if we only use it to describe athletes being shitty, 
that's okay because they chose that lifestyle. Oh, oh shitty. Being shitty. shitty. Yeah, you never yeah. said that. No, oh, okay, that's different to so me. And I think that's harder to pull off. I think it's also harder to pull off. I think if you, the idea I had so is. So if you're like, you heard that maggot Lamar Odom is going to be in the big three? Right. Maybe yeah. that's not that funny. <laughs> <laughs> but I thought you were saying make it a positive thing. So call no, no, all no. athletes. No. And I think you start So we're just with... going to create another hate group on another people. We're just going to make it a hate word for someone else. Yes, yes. But it's okay because they chose that lifestyle. They chose to be a bad athlete. Yeah. Well, they chose to be an athlete, and then they chose to be shitty at that, too. So oh. it's two bad decisions they made. I think it's easier to pull off if you say just calling athletes that. Is there a reason you're married to bad athletes? Oh, yeah, just bad athletes because it's easier. Because that's when you... Generally, you curse out athletes. Anyways. Well, oh, because I was gonna say, yeah, yeah you're nobody's <laughs> like this Tom Brady man. That, yeah, well, that's, it so well, I thought it'd be easier to pull off because it's like athletes are who we revere. So yeah. if they become the F word, then the F word is like a cool thing. Then nobody can use it to. If somebody calls Ooh. you the F word, you're like, oh, that's great. So I'm athletic and I can fuck anybody I want to, and yeah. I got millions of dollars. Cool. And I think I would open the joke with, we gotta start calling the a- athletes the F word. Then sit in it and be like, not fuck. Because I think F word rhymes with man. Also, yes. What is more athletic than take and dick? Like that, there's, <laughs> there are like some correlations between yeah. these two. That they, you can't be out of shape and do that. No, no you got yeah. You know how we say, yeah. you know how we say athletes got grit? What makes you grit more than getting fucked in the ass? <laughs> you better have some grit too. <laughs> we did, we grit deal with no loose cheeks, yo. I was going to say, <laughs> probably in New England, there's a lot of fans who call athletes that already. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That'll be a little confusing. Be like, then which they, way do you mean it? Is dude, he a bad athlete or? This is great because now you make the most hateful people the most progressive. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's two birds with one stone. Yeah. yeah. Whoa, so, yeah. that's a great, this is an interesting way of going about the bit. You want to change society? You want to make people progressive? Just make whatever words they use positive. Whatever it is, yeah. uh, just yeah. change the essential definition. Yeah, exactly. So if you're already calling them this, now it's a ah, but it's still negative. And That's if you want to make this, well, if you want to do it as a positive thing, you can make you can really try to take a shot and be like, like I think we should call politicians, uh, hedge fund owners, the N word, you know, <laughs> Ivy League, Ivy League students. Now if a redneck is like, oh, you're acting like a real N word, like, well, it's well, thank you. I you know what groups, <laughs> discriminated groups already kind of do that, like the N word. You know, it has a different meaning. Like, of course, we can't say it, and that's fun. I think that they should keep doing that because I think that's great for them. Yeah, that's yeah. fun for them yeah. to watch us struggle with it. It's in rap choruses and stuff, and we're kind yeah. of dancing around. Yeah. But when they address each other... <laughs> you, know, you know, you sound like, like a boyfriend whose ex-girlfriend just got married. <laughs> no, I think it's great. I think, I think it's, it's great. great. No, yeah, it's great. Yeah, yeah, they should keep on going. Yeah. No, no, she said kids. Yeah, they should yeah. be happy. They should be better. You know what it sounded like to me? is like, well, let them have that. <laughs> <laughs> they can have a little toy. But they've changed the meaning of the word. It, when when yeah. black people use it with each other, it doesn't mean that. It means like... My man, you know, yeah, my yeah. boy. And I think you can dude. take that to an extreme by saying just call that athletes. And mm. then, because now all these positive qualities that athletes have, if you're associating that with the F word, how is that a hateful word? Yeah, I think it's tougher if you're saying bad athletes. I get the because that's what we call them, mm-hmm. but it's still something negative. But if you make something fully positive, now all of a sudden it's a different cell, I think. Did you have another part to it? Uh, part of it is that because uh, people are so resistant to it, like I want to make fun of them because if you are resistant to this idea, then you want to keep that F word hateful. Hateful. Ah! Yeah, that's great. A this world is the where funny. in a world where that word no longer has that power. You got to say that right up front. Like even like we we all wasted so much time not even knowing that part of the book the bit. Okay, so wait, just for set the bit up real quick again. So it's you want to take away the power of the word. Yes. You want to take away the power of the F word. Right. Right. And an audience gives you pushback. Right. And that makes them the bad guy because now they want the F word to make. Uh, to remain hurtful. To, to gay people. To gay people. I almost called them F words. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yo. So then you call Dude, them yeah. F words. <laughs> <laughs> So you guys are acting like a bunch of, you're like, boy, this has really come full circle. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you, you say you're acting like a bunch of F-words, and they're like, oh, you're offended? See? Mm-hmm. <laughs> See why this is a problem? Yeah. yeah. That's, I think you just got to get to the explanation. Because okay. even earlier, it was, I was like, what's... Uh... Well, I think there's fun if you make it, if, as a matter of fact, if you say, I think we should call pro-athletes the F-word, then you're going to ask kids, what do you want to be? You know what I want to be when I grow up? I want to be a... 
You know what I mean? <laughs> that would be an F word. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. I have a joke with the word in it, and I've yeah. never gotten in trouble. But people like it. Are you? I have a joke I, I didn't with think it of it. it. With it. Yeah, I just well. say the word. You just say it. I just say Do you it. say it? Does a character say it? No, I say it. You just say it. Yeah. I've had my girlfriend calling me that in a joke, yeah. and it works. My oh. girlfriend's calling me. Oh, okay. I thought you should call you that in life. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I mean, no, I, don't, I, don't know. Call, I don't just nah, say bro. it like meanly. You are wearing mean. her hoodie. That's true. <laughs> that is that true. is yeah. um, that's true. <laughs> if that's Timothy McVeigh, that's Fresh Prince of Bel Air. I'll take I'll take Fresh Prince. <laughs> oh, I, I won that exchange. It's not really that gay, <laughs> but it is very Fresh Prince of Bel Air. He yeah, would yeah. be something he'd be wearing. Fresh yeah. Prince. True. Yes. Yeah. It's too big for her. She bought it at a concert. She got caught up in the hype. My hoodie. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So the idea is you want to take away the power of the word. Yeah. You want to take away the power of the word, and people who don't want to take away the power of the word, people who disagree with your joke, yeah. don't want to take away the power of the word. Right. They want to keep it going. Yeah. Now, is there a way to get everybody on board with this? Right? You get everybody on board, you get everybody laughing, you call out their hypocrisy, and then I think the final tag is, so we should do the same thing for the end. 